Easter, Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms, <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus Come in, come in. And give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said, that he would punish Jesus and then release him. But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, if you really are the son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, this man truly was the son of God. 
Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. And ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? Hey, oh! Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life.